So in this case, I have the information of students and I have their grades in test A and test B. And I want to know which students need some help. So which students failed both tests? So a student passes a class with at least six points. So I'm gonna type in cell E3, the equal sign, and I'm gonna type the condition and, and I'm gonna open up the parentheses, and I'm gonna select the first test. So the first grade on test A, and I want to know if this is less than six, okay? And then I want to know if test B, so that's cell D3, is also less than six so after i finish with this i'm gonna type in here the closing parenthesis and i'm gonna hit enter so as you can see since adam sandler's grade in test a and test b were less than six it tells me that adam sandler failed both of the tests okay a simple wrong would have done just fine but then so that's why it's telling me that my condition is true. Now let's see what happens with the other students. So I'm gonna copy this formula with control C and I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna paste it with control B. Okay, and then it tells me which students failed both the tests. So the second student, Will Ferrell, didn't fail both of the tests because he passed the first one, he passed the second one. Then the next student passed the first test even though he failed the second one. But it still says that it's false that he missed both of them. And in the next case, this student failed test A and test B, so that's why it says true. And then the last student, he passed both of the tests. So that's how you use the AND formula. And you can use it together with the IF formula and I'm gonna be explaining that in another video. Okay guys, I hope that video was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials and videos for you. Thanks again, see you next time.